you are getting so good at looking at graphs and analyzing them like real mathematicians. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Remote teaching, honestly, it's quite a challenge to try and make sure that students have as best of experience as possible. We really want to make sure that we have a full experience for our remote students. And one of the ways to do that is to talk to the teachers who are teaching them. So we meet regularly with all of the remote teachers to talk about how things are going, to specifically talk about making sure that, that the students are engaged in what we're doing here at Maple West. It's not easy for either end of the screen, you know, the teacher or the student. The other remote teachers, we really lean on each other and support each other. We're meeting on a weekly basis. We were kind of brainstorming ideas um, leading up to school beginning. And even once school did begin, we were kind of talking about troubles we were having. We were trying to help each other out. The community here at Maple West has been amazing. I think what's been really great is every Wednesday we have a supply pickup. So those kids are getting the same materials and supplies and books that the kids here in the hybrid program are getting. Just making sure that they feel a sense of community and making sure that they know that what they're doing at home is the same thing the kids are doing here and you know we're just doing it in a different way. We wanted to make sure that all opportunities were available to all students no matter which way that they were learning. Whether it's pictures for the yearbook, for spring pictures, whether it's spirit days, whether it's video announcements, anything that we do, we make sure that all students have an opportunity to participate. Kids need to be able to belong. They need to feel like they're welcome. They need to feel that they have a safe place to, to go, to learn. I mean, adults, we fully know that if we go to a place where we feel valued, we feel safe, we feel engaged, that we're gonna be able to be successful there. And we just want our kids to be successful. Close your eyes for a second. And I want you to imagine that you are in the world of frog and toad. I think it's huge, especially in the situation that we're in with just our little remote class, just even having that sense of community, that they're willing to share with each other, talk to each other, um, share things that they're excited about, things that they're worried about, and have that safe space still within the remote class. And that really, I think, has helped a lot with mental health with them and also just that sense of community. It's really nice to not feel like in-person or hybrid has their own thing going on and then virtual is just off to the side. Like we've really enjoyed being able to do as many of the normal activities as we can. We're just really grateful at all of the work, which I'm sure I only know a fraction of that's being done behind the scenes at Maple West. I know this year is almost impossible for them and I know they're juggling all sorts of things. They've really done a lot and gone out of their way to really work on that community for us. So we really appreciate it. I'd just like to thank the families for their consistent support and I'd like to you know, acknowledge my teachers who are teaching remotely, they're, they're doing a fantastic job. I don't think that there's any question that they're going above and beyond what's asked of them on a daily basis to make a positive difference in the lives of kids. There are kids, we love them, they're part of our school and we want to make sure that even though we're going through a global pandemic and they're learning at home, that they're cared about and that they are part of Maple West.